Hey guys, today we are reviewing another Wavetable board. What we have here is the E-Wave, another new product development from Serdaco out of Belgium. And what makes this Wavetable board unique is the chipset from ESS. We have a ES692S. We have tested Wavetable boards from Serdaco in the past. Let's have a look at prices and what's available. For 35 euros you can get the Dream Blaster S2. The E-Wave is 55 euros and the high-end Dream Blaster X2 is 75 euros. Now I have listened to all three Wavetable boards and basically you can say you get what you pay for. The Dream Blaster S2 is the budget option. It sounds nice but not as rich and uh, sophisticated uh, as these two boards. So the E-Wave is definitely a step up um, with the Dream Blaster X2 sounding the nicest. For your information we are using the um, Buran 1.1 sound font together with the Phil's Computer Lab. Uh, profile for the sound signature. So let's listen to one game comparing these three boards. At the end of the video are some longer recordings for you to check out. Let's quickly talk about installation. You just need a sound card with a wavetable header and then all you do is plug it in. Initially the plan was to use an ESS audio drive but I found the Yamaha to be the quietest card with the sound cards from ESS and Opti. They had a little bit uh, of a higher background noise. And this is our test system today. We have a slot 1 motherboard with an Intel 440BX chipset, a Celeron running at 266 MHz and 256 megabytes of RAM. The games I recorded are games I know really well, so if anything is off I usually can uh, pick it up quite quickly. The left and right audio channels are swapped compared to the Dream Blaster X2 and to the X2. Again, this could be a negative or a positive depending on what sound card you're using. If you're using a Sound Blaster 16, then this means that the left and right will be swapped. But on many Sound Blaster Pro compatible cards, the audio channels are swapped by default, which is the case on this card. So here you get a double swap, the card swaps it, and then the wavetable board swaps it back, making it correct. So uh, yeah, that is confusing. Welcome to the world of retro PC gaming. Uh, lots of little quirks like this one. And now on to the sound recordings, because in the end of the day you have to decide if you like how this module sounds like. So yeah, enough from me. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and thoughts down below in the video. And now let's listen to this wavetable board. <laughs> 